Hello everybody. Uh, today's video is going to be a quick kind of sneak peek on a project that I have uh, been working on uh, for a few days now and hopefully it'll be finished in a couple weeks. Uh, what you see here is my, for me, my long-awaited underground solar stand and basically so far you got a box and this will be completely underground. You got a jack which you can't really see yet and I'll get you a close up of that. And you see a big frame there. Well that frame I made to fit a 250 watt solar panel and it's a monster. It's 65 inches long which that's what I made that for. But if you have a smaller solar panel which I may have to start out with something smaller because I kind of went and put the cart before the horse on this one. I don't have the 250 watt solar panel. But if I make a solar panel or make three solar panels uh, they'll all fit on there. I can make them any design I want. Or if I have two smaller solar panels that are uh, store bought, those will also fit in there. But let me go ahead and show you a little bit about this and what I'm going to do to finish it up. Okay, so one of the most important parts of the underground solar stand is the floor jack that I mounted this to. It is a 1.5 ton floor jack. You got it at Harbor Freight. It's actually a present, so it was for free. It was my birthday present. And I went ahead and modified it what I need to, took off a whole bunch of parts, took out the center column, and took off a whole bunch of braces. Most of those had to be sawzawed off because they just didn't want to come off freely. And drilled some bigger holes on here to get these uh, big bolts through my 4x4. And a few things, these wheels are coming off that's going to be mounted to the, the box here. Uh, it's going to have braces going on the side because this is where all your pressure is going to be as I go to raise this. And let me show you uh, what it looks like as I uh, raise it up and lower it down for you. Okay, remember this is not mounted to the frame here, so I have to stand on it to hold it down. So I'll go ahead and insert your handle, stand it down, go ahead and raise it up. Okay, so that would basically be your up position. And I'm going to add some legs to the back. It's probably easier to show you when the uh, official video of this is being shown. And they're just going to go right down. They're going to be inside frames. So those 4x4s, which is what I'm going to use, to do all the work. Uh, this jack I don't think would be good in heavy winds. It's aluminum. I can see it being twisted and torqued. So I don't want to use this as the main support to keep it up. Alright, and let's say uh, heavy winds or a storm's coming or something. Let's go ahead and release it. Maybe. There we go. Alright, so you release it, pull the handle out, and the lid. I thought about five different options for the lid. One, I think, is most practical, uh, best for material wise. And one I really like, a little impractical, let me talk about the first one. I'm going to put a track all along the outer edges here, and on this end of it, leave an open top. So when the storm's coming, go ahead and drop it in the track, and they're going to be four planks uh, wide, and slide it to the top, drop in your next one, which would be four of those sections total. The one that I really wanted to do, but kind of impractical and kind of a nightmare, would be a pocket door basically. So the pocket door would be sitting there, basically it's a door inside a frame, I would have to protect all the inside from obviously dirt and uh, whatnot. But when a storm would come, you'd simply just go ahead and pull that pocket door out and it would lock into place and it would be nice and protected. And when the storm was over, just go ahead and put it back and that would be completely underground. I love that idea, but it's just not really practical. So I think the, uh, the section for the lid is going to be the best option. So a couple other things I'm going to do. I'm going to try and polyurethane the outside. Hopefully that will give it some endurance against the ground and the moisture and all that stuff. And I'm going to paint the inside green, kind of blending with the grass. And that's about all I'm going to tell you today. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and work on this for a while. And hopefully in two or three weeks I can get the completed video done. Go ahead and show you what it looks like. It will be in the ground. I'll paint it, all the accessories that I think are necessary to make this sturdy and stable so all right appreciate you watching this video as always take care and god bless